calling all ghouls and glam lovers. Today we'll be swatching the Halloween Glam Light Collection. I cannot wait to show you guys what's inside. Get ready ghouls and glam lovers. I'm diving into the spookiest makeup collection of the season. Today we're gonna unwrap Glam Light's Halloween collection and see if it is worth the hype. Are they truly to die for? Will it live up to the haunted hype? Stay tuned. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It is yours truly, Crystal Leandra, and we are here with another review. This is the Glam Light Halloween collection. I did purchase this with my own money. Everybody has a favorite serial killer. Mine just happens to be Michael Myers. So the minute I saw this, I had to grab it. Now Glamlight has done other collections. They've done collaborations for Ghostface and also Jason. They also did a collection with Chucky. I didn't purchase the entire collection out of all of those because it's just not my absolute favorite. But Michael Myers, that is a whole other story. So I'm going to unbox this and show you guys exactly what's inside and what I paid for it. Now I ended up purchasing the full PR collection, including the bag. Now if you purchase this on the website, just the collection without the bag is $110. And they do have a four item bundle that is $94. Once again, the bag is separate. The eyeshadow palette goes for $34. The knife mirror goes for $22, which I did not purchase that yet. The makeup bag is currently sold out, but it goes for $40. The highlighter is $18, and the lip kit is $22. I also got the Haunted Mirror mask, and this one went for $26. It's also currently sold out. Now, lucky for me, I was actually notified of a TikTok shop live that Glamlight did. And I had heard they were going to be doing some specials. I've, I'm actually not familiar with live sessions on TikTok. I know it's like kind of a big deal when it comes to going live and it really boosts your account. But I've never watched the sales happen on the TikTok shop. And I had been tipped off by someone saying that they were going to have a really good special the day before this collection actually launched. So I got a notification for the live session on TikTok. And I'm only telling you this in case in the future you want to sort of sneak in like I did. I ended up purchasing the entire PR collection, including the bag, and it was $100 for everything. The only thing I didn't get was the knife mirror because that was not included, and I will purchase that at a later date. Glam Light has come a very long way. I did purchase their original palettes. I still have the burger palette and the cake palette. That's what they went viral for back in the day. But this I think is the best collection so far that they've come out with. The packaging alone is just beautiful. I mean, even this is like a 3D image of Michael Myers. Now, the reason I am a huge supporter of Glam Light is because it is female owned and operated. Um, she's a person of color, which I also love supporting that. And last, their products are always on point. She does the, she has the best milled products, one of the best, in my opinion, on the market. So I obviously showed you guys all of the behind the scenes footage of me opening the collection. He has the 3D face motion, which I think is amazing. I want to go grab my scream bag because I have a feeling the Michael Myers one is a little bit smaller than the scream bag. Let's compare. I'll be right back. Okay, this is the ghost face bag next to Michael Myers. So there's definitely a size difference, which is crazy because I'm pretty sure this was $40 and this is also $40. So it's a shame they don't drop the price a little bit on the smaller bag. <clears throat> I do like the smaller size. I remember when I got this in the mail, I was like, oh my God, it's not, it's, I don't know if it's supposed to be used as a makeup bag, but I would probably use it more as like a purse. Now there's a zipper that these are both made the exact same way. They probably go through the same manufacturer. The front zipper has literally nothing. Like it's very flat. I don't think you could fit anything in here to be honest. So it's unusable in my opinion. You could maybe put some flat brushes in there. Now the back part, obviously the ghost face one's quite large, but these are made the same. No pockets or anything like that. 
I think it's a perfect travel case for makeup while traveling. I also do think the graphics that they're using are much better than they ever have been before. Just comparing the three masks, these two look very sort of flat in comparison to this one. I think it's the graphics are much better on this. Okay, let's, I have my base done. I'll link everything below. I'll also link it to my LTK page. If you're not following me there, you should. But I did go ahead and store everything in this bag. Now I do have a very dull highlight on, so I'm just gonna blend this out with my finger so that we can have sort of a fresh base to start with the highlight. Once again, the packaging is just beautifully done. What sold me on this is the pumpkin imprint that's in the packaging. And if you just do a light swatch, I mean, it is very shimmery. Now, I personally love a heavy glittery highlight. I haven't used this yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a small brush and we're just gonna dip into this. Once again, Glamlight is known for having the best products, so I'm not even worried about how this is going to look. Now this is a very gold, warm toned highlight, and I know my alt goth girlies are probably not gonna like that, but I don't know, sometimes it's fun to mix it up. To me, it's very much a really good highlight for fall. I'm gonna wipe this other highlight off my nose so that we can see what it looks like on the bridge. Okay, I'm gonna dip in. Ooh, it's, it's bright, it is blinding. It definitely has like a peachy undertone to the highlight. I wonder if I use my camera. You can see this a little, it's very glittery. Can you see it? What's my opinion on this highlight? It is the, you know, very consistent with the way Glam Light does their highlights. It's very glittery, it's very buttery, and I am definitely not disappointed. Now, this is not for the minimalist, for sure. This is definitely for someone who likes a blinding highlight. <clears throat> Dipping into my favorite part of the collection, which is the eyeshadow palette. I knew no matter what I had to purchase this baby because the colors are just perfection for fall. I love the orange tones, the, you know, the grayish, it's like muted neutrals. Oh, I just love it. So I'm going to swatch a couple of the shimmers so we can see how they look. He's back. It looks like a multi-chrome. Looks like, yep, it's a shift. It goes from purple to blue. This is, he's back. I'm going to swatch her here. Oh, wow. Love it. Duochrome, love it. The next one I want to do is the Relentless Michael Myers, which is the very copper-toned orange shimmer. Beautiful. The next one is Irritated. He is irritated. This is more of a pumpkin orange. Ooh. Love, 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 love. This one is one good scare, and it probably would be like a highlight for an inner corner. Ooh. Next we'll do Welcome to Santa Maria, which is also kind of like a bluish tone because as we know, all of the movies are very cool toned. Ooh, was not expecting that. <clears throat> There's two more shimmers, Killing It Since 78, which is also a blue tone shimmer. Those are pretty close to each other. The top one definitely has more sparkle. And the last one we'll do is Slay All Day, which is like a taupe shimmer. Woo, she was dark. I was not expecting her to be so dark. These are the shimmers in the palette, Obsessed Love. I think this top blue one is my favorite and I love the orange shimmers. If you can only get one thing out of this collection, I would say go with the palette. I am blown away. Let me clean up my mess so that we can do a look. All right, I'm gonna start with P. Louise as my base. This is Zero, which is very, very pale and white.
So I will normally just put it on the back of my hand, dip in a clean side of my beauty blender and pat it right in. The thing I do when I see a palette is I sort of study it to decide which way I wanna go with it. <clears throat> There's sort of two options we can do. We can do a blue toned look or we can do a brown with orange tone look. So I need to pick and choose one. Since I'm wearing orange, I think it would only make sense to start with some orange. Okay, the first one we're gonna start with is I always wear a mask, which is a taupe-ish matte shade. Using a fluffy brush, I'm going to start at the top of my eye and start mapping out that shape. Ooh, buttery, very buttery. If you've been watching me long enough, you know that I work from top to bottom on my eyelid. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with a little bit of trick or treat. It's more of a orange toned shadow, but I just want to see the performance of it. And I'm gonna add that directly below that taupe shade. Hayden Field Memorial Hospital, I think, which is a very dark chocolate brown. And I'm gonna build this up on the outer crease. This is just creating that wing shape. Really want to use orange on the lid. So I'm going to dip into Halloween masks, which is the matte orange that is in there. And we're just going to pack that on this side of the eye. I'm going to go back in and just blend a little bit of that brown back in with the orange slightly. Now on the bottom, I definitely want to use the black. They have a matte black. So I'm taking a really tiny pencil brush and every day is Halloween is the black. I always drag a little bit of that gel liner down as well and I'll go back in and just sort of blend it in with the shadow. Okay, now it's time for the fun parts, which is the shimmers. I'm gonna start with one good scare, which is that white. I just wanna use that on the inner corner. Yeah, it's really pretty. I think I'll use this as a brow bone highlight as well. Okay, now we're going to go in with the orange. Sometimes it's just easier to use your finger. It will really press, press it in. I'm going to just swatch these two again. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with the darker pumpkin. This is the Relentless Michael Myers. I'm just going to press it over that orange. giving Halloween vibes. I think I want to just see what happens if I take the lighter shade, and just put a little bit in the middle, gives it like a little halo glow. Now I know I should stick with like the orange theme, but I'm really dying to try that multi-chrome over the black because I feel like that's going to be amazing. So I'm going to take a really skinny brush again, going to roll it into his back, which is like the purple blue multi-chrome and we're gonna see how it performs. Are you ready? Ooh, yes. That is giving the creep vibe, which is exactly what I wanted. Look how cool that looks. Ooh, she's soft though. Don't push too hard because she is a very soft multi-chrome. Oh, that shade alone is gorgeous. All right, let's finish her with a little bit of eyeliner from Essence. Lashes currently favorites are from Amazon. I'll link them on LTK and my Amazon store. The last thing that we need to try is the lip kits. We have the lip liner, we have the lipstick, and then we have this blue hueish lip gloss, which I find really interesting. Let's go ahead and pop on the lip liner first. Ooh, I think I need to sharpen her. She's a little little low. It's darker than I anticipated it to be. Okay, I'm going to lightly take a brush and just blend this out. Side note, just a side note. I laugh because I have a lot of guys that followed me over like, you know, from my paranormal channel um, that watch my like beauty stuff and it makes me laugh. They're like, yeah, if it wasn't you, I wouldn't watch it. Because it's you, I've learned a lot. 
Cool, I'm glad you're here. Okay, the lipstick is really cool. Okay, so first of all, let's just check out the packaging here. It looks like total out of the movies, Michael Myers. But look at the imprints they put on the lipstick. Is that not the cutest thing ever? It's a little jack-o'-lantern. So often with having such a dark lip, you wanna not swipe, you wanna like tap it in. Very creamy lipstick. And then I'm gonna take that brush again and just blot it out. I like the lip kit. Now adding a blue lip gloss over the top is gonna be interesting. This is the packaging and it's very much a blue hue. You can kind of see it in the bottle where it's blue. So I don't know what this is gonna do to the, we'll try it, we'll try it. It smells like raspberries or like blue raspberry. Remember those blue razzle dazzles when we were kids? Yeah. Is this a gloss or an oil? Stand by. Haunted, hauntingly dazzling gloss. Okay. It just has that like feeling like a lip oil, like very slick. It's interesting because the blue kind of cool tone, you know, down the lipstick. Final look. I really think this is a cool palette. I think this is the coolest collection they've come out with. If there's only one thing that you can buy, the palette for sure. My second favorite is probably the lip kit just because it's so weird and unique. The highlighter is cool. Can you buy it from another company? Yeah, but I actually purchased it because I thought that the imprint of the pumpkin was just way too cute. Now I prefer the knife mirror that they have. So I'll be getting that eventually. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Did you pick this up? Are you going to pick it up? Now this is, you know, probably the least necessary thing, but might be the coolest thing in the collection. So your discretion. Please leave me some love in the comments to show your support for the channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you're following me on all other social media platforms. And signing off, yours truly, the eternally haunted Crystal Leandra, Queen of the Dead. Love you.